and I'll start fan. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Elizabeth and normally I vlog, but today I just wanted to do something a little bit silly because I realized that, <clears throat> oh, <I'm> gonna... <coughs> anyway, I realized that I have a problem and that is in my bag. Uh, I'm not going to do a what's in my bag video because what is the point? Nobody cares what's in your bag, but I care what's in my bag. And in my bag, I discovered this the other day. I, I think I have a little bit of a lip balm problem. Let me fish them all out. Out of hand already. Oh, that's it. Oh no, no, no. So, um, I thought I'd just tell you the lip balms that I carry around with me every day. How many of them do I use? One. <laughs> To be fair, it is the year of our pandemic, 2022. <laughs> I was going to say 2023. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and in masks, you, you don't need a lip colour, do you? Um, but it hasn't stopped me carrying around a variety. And uh, I'm just going to go through them because why the hell not? First of all, I have these Trini London ones. Now, the good thing about Trini London is... They're small, they're really light, they stuck together, and on the top here is like um, a detachable mirror. So the top is reflective, but also the inside has two levels of magnification. And they just clip to the top of the balm, so it's always in my bag because it's handy to have a mirror. And that's, that's probably the unique selling point of Trini London is it's never best in class, but it's easy and it's handy. It's getting hot in here already. Anyway, so should I just put them on my lips so you can see? On my lips at the moment, I have none of these lip balms. I have actually my favorite one, Laniash Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, this one's vanilla, it's really nice. <coughs> I've been using them, these ones for years. That's the one that lives on my desk. Anyway, let's just go in with some colors, shall we? Okay, so Emily, I think this is a sheer shimmer. Trinity London has balms that are um, got sparkle in them. Probably one of my most used because it's a good color on me. It matches this makeup. And if I was wearing this makeup without a mask, that's probably, actually it's not the color I would choose because I just got a new one. But <laughs> I have a problem. But it's a good colour. Emily Shea Shimmer. Next one. Janita. This one's a real, a real pinky colour. This one's new. This one is also a Shea Shimmer. I love how bright this is. Obviously, I'm just looking in my phone. So if it looks shit... I mean, that's probably how I'd wear it anyway. Nice and bright. So I've got like a berry, I've got a real pop of pink, then I've got a freak, which is a nude with shimmer. I recommend if you are going with Trini London, get the sheer shimmers because the colors are just nicer. They're reflective. Feels comfortable. And I think the colors just give more payoff. One's Afric. I don't wear this very much. If I'm, if I'm doing a face with just bronzer, this is a lip that I will do. <clears throat> yeah, not all the sparkles come off there. And the last Trini London one I have in my bag, <laughs> there's a problem, uh, is Bella, which is just a nude lip. They call it lip glow. It's just a lip balm. This one is nearly done. And so I'm on the hunt for another nude because this is nice. It's really nothing, just a bit of, I think it just gives me a bit of shine. But mainly I'm going for that comfortable lip feeling because I've always got dry lips. 
and I've always, I'm always putting lip balm on. So that's my Tuny London ones, but that's only half of it. All right, I've got a couple of Shiseido ones. Um, I feel like I've got a bit of tissue stuck to me now. Um, so I'll do the lighter color first. This one's Lotus and it's just a, a berry nude. Oh, I am gonna need a mirror for this. And even though the Trini London's, <coughs> I'm just use that mirror, um, a light, and compact and all stuck together. They're not super convenient to put on. So this is the color that I probably would wear the most. It's the closest to my natural lip color. And I feel like it just gives me a bit of put togetherness without, you know, really having done anything. It's just a balm. These ones are called uh, Color Gel Lip Balm. They feel really nice. I don't know how long they last because I'm someone who is not like a, a bright lip wearer, remembering to reapply kind of wearer. Usually I just whack it on in the morning and then forget to reapply until my lips are dry. This is, I just did that one. This one is another Shiseido Color Gel Lip Balm. I do really like these, they feel really nice. This one's Poppy, which is <clears throat> a ready orange, and this is probably the most bold color I own, and I never wear it. <laughs> anyway, let's put it on. The only time I wear this one is when I'm streaming, because it's bright. Actually, that's a lie. It's not the most bold color I own. It's the most bold color I wear. It looks good on camera though, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't match the rest of what I'm wearing, but it's definitely like, for me, a filming color rather than an everyday color. Because also I feel self-conscious as this wears off. But I'm liking it right now. Coffee break. And the last one, which is the one I'm gonna keep on. It's not the last one. The last one's actually this one. L'Occitane Petite Remedy. The Petite Remedy. It's just an all-purpose all balm. So it's clear. It's gritty-ish. Um, and it's, I use it as a lips and hands and anywhere else that needs a bit of moisture when I'm out and about. So this is the one I use mostly at work because it's thick and I just put it on a thick layer under my mask and I don't have to think about it. And nobody can see it because it's still the year of the mask. Anyway, the last one's a new one. Uh, RMS Beauty, I think they're called. RMS, this one's called Peacock Lane. And this is the color that I would wear with this outfit and makeup I have today. So this is new to me, this brand is new to me, RMS Beauty. I've seen lots of influencers talk about it. Um, but this feels really nice. The colors sheer which I like you know just a tint of a color although it looks really bright here and um I've got like three more colors and they have a clear one as well on my wish list um so that's the carnage of my bag there is one two three four five six seven eight lip balms that I carry around with me every single day and my favorite is actually not even in my bag over here. <laughs> um, I know that was a short one today and a bit of fun, but I just wanted to just acknowledge that I have a problem and I don't see an end to it anytime soon. Oh, and of course, the whole reason that I was doing this, besides acknowledging my problem, is I have a blog where I write about skincare and I guess lip balm. It's a hybrid skincare makeup product. I would 
I'll probably not write about the colors, but I would write and have written about the plain ones. Um, yeah, so links in the description below. I just talk about skincare and I do uh, short reviews about what I think about them. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you again next Tuesday.